Hi everyone, I'm Sydney Mary and this is Retired College Athletes, a platform designed to inspire and inform current and former athletes using stories and advice from retired college athletes. I'm not a fan of long intros, so let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, so today we are talking about burnout, burnout from your sport specifically. I was a player that was definitely burnt out from my sport. We're gonna talk about what burnout is, how common it is in sports, what it can look like and how you can get over it. So what is burnout towards your sport? That just is a physical and mental exhaustion towards your sport. And so that can often look like the, the time commitment has gotten too much for you. You've lost your love for the sport. You're physically exhausted. It's just, you have had enough. You're not performing at the same level that you used to. You don't have the same love for it. And so that's kind of what burnout can look like in sports. It's not uncommon for this to happen in college or for college athletes because what is expected of you in sports in college is significantly different from high school. Like the, just the, the demand is more and it's not uncommon for you to lose your love for your sport, unfortunately, during those college years. It can look like you just are kind of overwhelmed with how much is necessary to be a college athlete all the time, all of the workouts, all the demands on, on being able to perform at a high level and under pressure. It can also just look like way too much time invested. Like you're going from high school where maybe you could pick and choose like if you wanted to go to practice or things like that. And in college, like there's no picking and choosing. You need to show up. You're probably under scholarship or maybe you're not, but that's just the commitment in college. And so it can just become a lot. And it's not necessarily seen as fun anymore. It's kind of seen as a job. If you are feeling this way or have felt this way, you are definitely not alone. Burnout is seen within one in nine percent of athletes as well as one to two percent of athletes will experience severe burnout one big sign of burnout is just complete exhaustion and honestly sometimes that turns into apathy i know for me when i was a college athlete my sophomore year i started to become pretty depleted and i didn't know how to describe it i remember trying to explain it to a strength and conditioning coach about how like i just tap out really really easily like really early i just can't seem to push through and it's not that I don't want to I just kind of like can't do it and oftentimes I think the hard thing with burnout is in the college realm people aren't really receptive to that at least I don't know coaches that are very receptive to that like they're like burnout is just not a conversation that we have often and so it's uh it can be hard to try and explain this to somebody or even get the help that you need that's why i think it's really important to seek professional help because they can give you the tools and resources to get through this but while i was in college i definitely did experience the physical aspects of burnout where i just couldn't push through and it just really became hard for me to go to practice and workouts because i was just kind of going through the motions my body was not responding the way i wanted it to I was exhausted and I just didn't know where to go from there. I think the hard thing about physical burnout and how it manifests there is that you are more susceptible to injury. Something that we've learned over the course of this part of the year through the Olympics and things like that is if you're not physically and mentally ready to go for your sport, you are far more susceptible to in injury. So I think that's why it's super important to, if you feel like you're burnt out, go get help. Please go get help. On top of how it can manifest physically, it can also manifest emotionally. Are you more irritable? Are you moody? Just does the thought of going to practice really turn you off? Like things like that are super important to pay attention to because that is a great sign that you may be burnt out. Something that happens when you're burnt out is that you may actually have a dip in confidence or just be questioning your abilities a lot more than usual. I think in college that happens in general. I know that happened to me in general, so I would have never known that to be a sign of burnout. But if that's something that is just kind of recently changed for you and you're just, you're physically exhausted, you're emotionally having a hard time staying present and being there, you may be more irritable and you may be struggling with your confidence in your sport, that is a, a, a surefire sign that you may actually be struggling with burnout. Again, some of those confidence issues may just be coming from the fact that your body does not feel ready to perform, but also it may just be coming from the anxiety that you have around your sport. Just It just generally being overwhelming. I know for me, when I came into college as a freshman, I felt like I could handle a lot of what was being thrown at me in the sense of like, I can learn the plays, I can I can physically do what I need to do. But as I went through in my college career, I just started to get more and more burnt out. And the idea of learning plays and executing them and executing at a high level was just way too much for me. It was becoming really overwhelming. So I want you to understand what burnout is not. It is not depression. Even though some of the symptoms are pretty similar, you might actually have burnout and you think you have depression, you might have depression, you might think you're burnt out. It's really easy to cross those lines. I am not a mental health professional, but I hope that you do seek out a mental health professional to help you figure out where you are. You might be burnt out, you might have depression, 
You might have a mixture of the two. You might have neither and have something completely different. I want you to go and seek out that help for yourself because it is super important that you get diagnosed by somebody who is accredited, who has years of experience in this. And I'm not that person, but I hope that you do take the information from this video and use it to your benefit, take what you can, and of course, seek out the help that you do need. So how can current athletes combat burnout? Well, like I said, of course, go and seek professional help, but I think modifying training can be really, really helpful. If you're in a place where you can modify your training, that is a good way to go. Taking more rest days, changing up your workouts can be really helpful. But I understand in college that might not actually be helpful. Like you can't necessarily do that. A professional like your coach has to do that for you. So again, I will always plug seeking help. But if you are now a retired college athlete in that burnout phase, I do have some advice for you. I think it's important to take some time away from your sport. I was so burnt out from my sport that to this day, I still have not played my sport at all. I have not played a pickup game. My sport was basketball. I have not gone into a pickup game and it's been like almost four years. So it's been a long time. My love for my sport changed significantly. Uh, so burnout does can have some long-term effects. I would not say at this point that I'm still burnt out. I just think it's my decision to not go and play my sport anymore because it's a little triggering. We'll get into that in another video. If you're interested in learning about maybe the grief of sports, let me know in the comments. We can kind of get into that. I think me not wanting to play my sport is a little bit more of like a grief thing than burnout at this point in time, but they are still things that retired college athletes deal with. So if you're interested, again, leave a comment down below and I will get into that video at another time. Outside of taking time away from your sport, I think it's important to get involved in other things. Taking your mind off of your sport can be really helpful as well because ultimately you're just trying to get your love for your sport back again. And it actually does not involve you doing it. I think absence makes the heart grow fonder. Taking some time away, getting an opportunity to miss it, and then realizing why you loved it all over again is, is really helpful. And that's a great way to combat burnout. And then finally, understanding what actually drove the burnout. Oftentimes it's a mindset that can drive burnout. So is it perfectionism that's driving it? Was it the schedule? You know, that's not necessarily mindset, but that's something practical that you can change. Was it the, the demands put on you by your coaches or yourself? Things like that. Figuring out what drove the base of your burnout is really helpful so that it won't happen again. You'll actually understand like, okay, it was a schedule for me. So I'm going to be really, I guess, tactful about choosing how I'm going to put my time around my sport. Am I going to work out every day? Maybe that's, maybe that's not what you need to do. Maybe you need an off day. Maybe you need two off days. Like just figuring out what works for you is super helpful. And so that's just a little bit about burnout. Again, I don't have all the answers. I just wanted to talk about it because I think that that's something that a lot of athletes go through and we just kind of chalk it up as like depression or we're just going through something. Like it's just a hard season. And sometimes it's like a legitimate thing such as depression and maybe it is burnout. And so I just wanted to bring that to the table, talk a little bit about it. The topic of burnout is near and dear to my heart because I did definitely go through it. And at the time I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. I wasn't sure if it was depression or anxiety. Um, I didn't know to seek help on it. I just kind of knew that something wasn't right. And if I could help someone better understand what they're going through at this moment in time and let you know that you should be seeking help around that, then I think I've done my job. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. And if you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, and hitting the bell notification for more content. I put out content similar to this every week where we talk about athletics, retired college athletes, the transition out, and things like that. So if that's interesting to you, please again consider joining our community and hitting the subscribe button. Until next week, I will talk to you soon.